Hi, so let's try to solve a conceptual numerical on surface integration. I hope you have seen my theoretical video in which I have covered the every aspect of the surface integration. In this particular video, I am going to cover the conceptual numerical on the surface integration and I will follow this process step by step. So let's start. So I have been given a function. So this is the value of my function. I want to evaluate f dot n ds. Now you know that the definition of surface integration is dot product of the vector function with the normal vector to some surface. Okay, so this is our evaluate this where s is the surface integration. So basically they have said to evaluate the surface integrator surface integration along the curl not the curl along the surface which is bounded by these points okay so you can clearly see it this is at origin all the points are zero x is zero y is zero z is zero so this is x is equals to the one this is y is equals to the one this is z is equals to the one so you have been provided with a diagram you have been provided with a <coughs> data so let's start now what is the process to solve these types of sums see it is a surface integration so first of all, I need to calculate how many surfaces are there. So in a cube, how many surfaces are there? There are six surfaces, right? I hope you know that. So basically, I will evaluate the integration over each surface. So I will first evaluate the surface integration over, over the one surface of the cube. Then I will evaluate the surface integration of, over the second surface, then over the third surface, fourth surface, fifth surface and sixth surface. And finally, what I will get in total the total surface integration would be the sum of all those six integrations so let's start okay this is a conceptual question all the concepts will be covered in this question so let us first consider the backward side of the cube okay the back hand okay the back side of the cube so if i cap is in this direction what i can see clearly i can clearly see that the normal vector so this phase of the cube is equals to the my minus times of i cap. So this is the first step. What we have to calculate? We have to calculate f dot n cap ds in that, in that n cap is equals to the this. So basically f is this vector. If I take a dot product with n cap, what is n cap? n cap is equals to the minus times of i cap. So j will become 0, k will become 0 because that is what dot product is, right? i dot i is equals to the 1. So what I will be left over with, I am will be left over with f dot n cap ds is equals to the 2 xz. Now what is the thing which is varying over this volume? In this phase, what is varying? Okay, so I can see y is varying, so I can write the dy. I can see z is varying, so I can write dz. So basically ds will be equal to the dy dz. So here I will write dy dz. Okay, now I have to perform the integration. So let's integrate this. So if I integrate this over the limit 0 to 1, 0 to 1, what I can see? x is 0 here, right? x is 0 in that surface because it is in the dy dz plane. dx is equal to this. So if x is equal to 0, then everything will become 0. So my total answer is 0. I hope you are getting if you are not getting do not worry still we have five faces left definitely you will understand everything now let us consider the fr front face okay let us now try to evaluate f dot n cap ds over the front face now in front face what is there okay what is there in the front face what is the normal vector so normal vector is equals to the capital i cap that is positive i cap so if i take a dot product of f vector with i cap what i will get so of course this will vanish this will vanish because there is no component of j and k here so what i will get is 2 x z times of i cap okay so again let us try to evaluate the surface integration of 2 x z i cap now what is ds element here so again what is varying in this surface so again dy is varying from this to this section dz is varying from this to this section the value of x here is equals to the 1 so basically if I put x is equals to the 1 here because what are the coordinates here? The higher coordinates are 1, 0, 0. Okay. So I will get 2 z i cap in ds. What is ds here? ds is equals to the dy dz. So I will get dy into dz. Okay. So what is the integration of this thing? So 2 will come outside the integration. What is the integration of z? Okay. Here it is surface integral. So basically I can write 0 to 1, 0 to 1. 
z dy dz this would be the proper step now let us integrate with respect to dz so i will get integration of z square divide by 2 so divide by 2 will cancel out this 2 and what i will get is the limits from 0 to 1 still one integration from respect to dy is remaining so here if i put the value limits i will get 1 minus 0 which is again equals to the 1 so basically what i am left over with 0 to integration of 1 times of 1 times of dy again if i evaluate the integration its integration would be y with the limit 0 to 1 again i will get the answer 1 so 1 is my final answer here 0 was my final answer let us now see the third phase of the cube which is o a a dash o dash which, which means left side of the cube okay so if this is my j cap so what will be the normal to this surface my normal would be minus j cap so here my normal vector is equal to the minus times of j cap okay what is my surface area here surface element so here x is varying from 0 to 1 so ds is equal to the dx here my z is varying from 0 to 1 so again my it is my dz and here y is equal to the 0 okay so if i try to take a dot product i have to evaluate f dot n cap ds so n cap here is minus j cap so let me take a dot product with the minus j cap so of course this will vanish because there is no i cap term here this will vanish and y is equal to the 0 so essentially this will also vanish so basically i will get a 0 so you see things are going conceptual uh, you cannot follow a particular method okay you have to apply physics in each step okay so let us consider this side now i can clearly see that j cap is the normal vector here so basically if i try to take its dot product what i will get i will get minus y cube okay i will get minus y cube actually here uh, i will not get i cap right because in dot product i cap dot i cap is equals to the one okay so i will not get that so what i will get is what is ds element here so here i can clearly see that x is varying i can clearly see that z is varying because y value of y is equals to the one here okay so again if i calculate the integration of this term <clears throat> okay what i will get i will of course get what i will get just a second if i put the value of y is equals to the one so i will get here minus one dx times of dz okay which is varying from zero to one zero to one and of course i will get the value uh, let me take out the integration with respect to z first so if i calculate the integration with respect to z what i will get take out minus common i will get z here okay so if i apply the limit zero to one i will get minus one as my answer let's see okay minus one is the answer you can solve it yourself also because everything will be one minus zero one minus zero which is essentially one multiplied by minus one so it is that answer so what is the integral over phase o a b c okay so here i can clearly see that the normal vector is in the opposite direction of z which is minus k cap so if i want to calculate f dot n cap ds so what is ds here ds is equals to the dx dy because it is x y plane right so let me take a dot product with minus k cap okay so this term will vanish this term will vanish what i will be left over with minus yz integrating with dx dy also i can clearly see that z is equals to the zero here because it, we are in the xy plane so if this term is zero then everything will become zero okay so what is the total integration till now so this term is zero so it is not contributing this term is minus one this term is again 0, this term is plus 1. So, plus 1 minus 1 is again 0 and this term is 0. So, net integration, net integration till now is 0. And we have last side remaining with us. Let us now try to calculate integration over this term. So, again we have to evaluate f dot n cap ds. Okay. Uh, so, what is n cap? n cap here is equals to the k cap. Okay. i j k cap. So, let us now try to take a dot product with k cap so this will vanish this will vanish so i will get yz also z is equals to the one here okay and uh, z is equals to the one and what is the value of y uh, what is the value of y in this plane so of course y has value one also because we are at we are at some height 
so z is 1 we are at some distance so y is also equals to the 1 so let us now try to evaluate the integration from 0 to 1 0 to 1 what is the surface element here so surface element essentially is dx dy okay z is equals to the constant here okay actually y is varying z has the value 1 but y is varying from 0 to 1 right in this surface if i try to calculate so what i will be left over with integration of y what is integration uh, let me try to evaluate the integration what is integration of y integration of y will be y square by 2 if i take the limits i will get 0 to 1 and basically i will get the half as the answer and if i try to evaluate z with uh, the value of z is 1 actually right we are at this height so value of z is equals to the 1 so integration would be 1 minus 0 so i will be left over with the half so basically 0 plus half is equals to the half so this is the final equation of my question okay so surface integration over this curl is equals to the half so why i covered this problem the reason why i covered this problem is to make you understand the concept of surface integration from the perspective of physics in maths what we do directly we have equations without imagination we calculate the things but in physics some amount of imagination is important these type of questions are important to build your concept maybe these type of uh, numericals may not come in any exam like iit jam okay because they are so much lengthy and of course you have to may, uh, improve your speed i was explaining very slow because already many students are confused but these questions are best when you have to build your concepts okay so see you in the next video